to show you how to draw some circles. Now, if I try to draw a circle real slow and careful, it, it's hard to get a good circle. I'm going to show you some other ways to do it. An easy way is instead of going slow, go fast. Go round and around and around and around and around. You'll get a pretty good circle that way. And if we're drawing lightly, we can erase the lines that we don't want anymore. Another way to draw a circle is instead of going all the way around like that, draw part way and stop. Pick the pencil up and go right back here and draw part way again and stop. And go back here and draw part way and go back here and draw part way. That's a little easier to get it accurate. You're not drawing around it, you're actually drawing all of it at the same time. Another way to draw a circle is to draw a square first. And then we're going to fit the circle in the square. Now we're going to touch these lines right here and, and only right there. So we're going to draw and then we're going to touch that. And that'll give you a pretty good circle. So here's a circle. Now from the side, I mean, it's still a circle, but it doesn't look like a circle. It looks like an ellipse. And if you keep going it like this, it's gonna be a really skinny ellipse. And then like this, it's just a straight line. Now to draw an ellipse like this is, is kind of tough. You end up drawing something like that. One way to do this is to draw four dots and do this trick. That's one way to do it. Another way is to draw our square as a rectangle and fit the circle inside of it. That'll give you a pretty good ellipse. And then you can draw one on the inside without too much difficulty. We just kind of look at how far apart these are. Now, in perspective, we can use this. So let's say we've got a big giant wheel, but we're gonna fit it into this box. So notice how it's bigger here because it's closer to us and here it's far away. Well, we can put these little tick marks in it and draw ourselves a circle in this box. And then we'll draw a couple lines that go that way. And then we'll try to trace this shape again. And we've got ourselves a, a, a thin cylinder like a, a car wheel or something. Here's another little trick. You can find the center of any square by crossing the corners. Right there, that's the exact center. So if I wanted to draw myself a wheel and I wanted to get things centered in it, I would use that to help guide what I was doing. Now, if I've got a perspective, if I have a perspective thing, I can cross it. And here's what's interesting is, look how, how much larger this part is than this part. It, it's not that the center isn't there. The center is actually about here. And that's because as this gets further away from us, this distance appears to get shorter too. So your wheel isn't exactly a perfect ellipse. This side is gonna have a little bit different curve than this side. 
same with drawing this center part here. If it's a really big wheel or one that we're really close to, this part is going to seem a lot thicker than this part. So let's do something else here. Let's say we're doing a planet and I want to draw a good planet and I don't want to trace anything to draw a circle. I just want to do it. I'm going to make me a nice square. I'm going to draw lightly, which means I can make mistakes all day and I can erase them. All right, now I'm going to make some rings around this. So I'm going to draw a parallelogram around it. So the, the rings are going to go inside this. Now, remember this tick mark is not going to be there. Here's the center, it's going to be right up there. And then I'm going to draw my curved lines. And these curved lines I'm going to draw, and they're going to go behind the planet. And now that I'm done, I can go ahead and I can erase some of these construction lines. This part doesn't look quite right to me. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, it depends on what you're using a circle for. If I want to draw something tight and stiff like a planet or a car, then yeah, let, let's, let's draw it like this. Or let's put a square around it or even get a compass if you wanted to. But let's say I'm going to go draw a person's head. And I'm going to draw a head and put a nose line and a jaw line on it. And I'm just drawing the circle to help me draw the head. I don't want a really perfect circle for this. A little sketchy thing like this is just fine. Actually, your head isn't even a perfect circle. Your head's a little bit more of an oval like that anyway because that's the way your brain pan is shaped. So who cares if you draw a perfect circle? If I was going to draw, let's say, a horse or something, and I was going to draw two circles like that to show the body, and then draw the neck and the head and start adding some arms and legs on this guy, I don't want to draw perfect circles in here. I'm going to erase them anyway. These are just in here to help me draw this jelly bean shaped for the horse's body and I'm going to race them together anyway. If I started to go ahead and draw some squares and draw these really perfect good circles like this, I'm wasting my time because this is more than I need. I just need a sketch in something like that and that's good enough. I hope you enjoyed uh, this lesson. You found it uh, kind of interesting and helpful to draw some circles. Again, art isn't really hard. A lot of this takes some practice. I can do this really fast because I've been doing this for years and years and years. But when I was first starting out, I couldn't draw circles very good either. But little techniques like this help, especially if you're just starting out and you're having some frustrations on how to do this. I'm actually doing this for a friend of mine who was having a hard time drawing circles and asked me how to do it, and I told him I'd make this video for him. Anyway, I will see you next time.